All right, looks like the numbers are, are getting uh, steady now. Um, so I'll just start. Hello, everyone. Good afternoon. Uh, hope you've all had a great day so far. My name is Mahir. I'm an implementation specialist here at Accurex. Uh, welcome to our webinar on Batch Self Book. Uh, Batch Self Book is our appointment booking solution, which is designed to be the ultimate recall tool for things like uh, flu vaccinations. Just some notes before we do get started. Uh, this webinar will be recorded and a recording of this will be uploaded onto our YouTube channel. We'll also send a link to the recording out to all those that registered and attended. So um, if you do miss anything or if you want to share it out to anyone else, please feel free to just share that link out. Um, with regards to uh, questions, if you do have any questions, feel free to type it up in the Q&A section below. Uh, we will go through some FAQs uh, in a couple of minutes, uh, but uh, in this webinar, I have some colleagues um, that are going to be typing up replies to any questions in the chat. So uh, please take a look out for any answers that are um, written out in that way. Uh, we'll also dedicate some time towards the end for any questions. So if there are any questions that you see already in the, the Q&A section that you would like answered, uh, feel free to use the upvote button. There should be a thumb next to each question. Just use that uh, to indicate that you'd like it answered and then we'll, we'll prioritize those questions. Uh, so what are we going to be covering today? Uh, so we'll, we'll start off with an introduction to Batch Self Book, including a, a quick little, little demo to, to show how it looks like in the system. Uh, we're expecting Dr. Arvind Rukaj from the Wisdom Medical Center to, to come and share his experience as a pilot practice. He's not yet in this call, but um, we'll, we'll, we'll wait and see um, if he's able to attend. Um, otherwise, we, we do have a slide prepared um, with some information around how he found it anyways. Um, and then towards the end, we'll, we'll go through a Q&A session. Um, I'm here joined by Becca, who is our product manager here at Accurex. Her and her amazing team are responsible for building this feature. So please be sure to ask any questions and we can get them answered for you. Great, so, so what is Batch Self Book? So Batch Self Book is a new feature within Accurex to, to help manage appointment bookings. Um, Batch Self Book allows you to send a single use booking link for a face-to-face -face appointment directly to a group of your patients by SMS. You can specify your slot type before sending out the link to your patients. Uh, Batch Self Book is fully integrated with uh, EMS and System 1. So the appointments that are available to be uh, the, the appointments that are seen by your patients will be a reflection of what's actually in your appointment book. And once they book into their appointment, they'll automatically be added into the appointment um, in your in your appointment book. So there's no further intervention required from from practice staff in that sense. Um, finally, batch self book is available to all practices. So even if you don't have the batch messaging module that we provide, um, you, you will still have access to batch self book. And I'll show you um, where you can access that um, very shortly. The license for this is covered uh, under a contract with NHS England. Um, and I'll go into that further uh, in, in a little while. Um, but yeah, everyone should have access to it at this point. And we, we're already released. Um, so you, you should be able to use it. This is just some feedback that we had from a managing partner at Tudor Lodge Health Center. Um, this is incredible. It's what everyone has been waiting for. So there's been a lot of excitement around this feature. And since we um, made this available from Monday, here's how you've used Batch Self Book. So we've had 232 practices use it so far and a whopping 23,000 patients booked into an appointment using Batch Self Book. So already really good usage. So hopefully this is something that will be a game changer in, in, with, with processes and things like that at your practice. So hopefully everyone here can make really good use out of it. So what are some of the benefits of Batch Self Book? So the first thing is it saves you vital time and frees up your phone lines. Uh, instead of inviting patients uh, to call into the practice and book an appointment, um, patients can directly book into an appointment using their, the text message and the link found in their text message. This means that there are less incoming phone calls. It frees up your phone lines for, for more of those urgent calls uh, by patients. You can save time by sending the invite out to a group of your patients all at once. So that's the benefit of the batch feature and being able to send it to a lot of patients at once. Another benefit is that uh, batch self book is fully integrated with system one and EMIS. So 
it works off of your appointment book. Um, the appointment is added into uh, the appointment book automatically once the patient books it in without any intervention required by practice staff. So everything sort of works in the background and hopefully that should be a better experience from both the practices end and also the patient's end, which brings me to another benefit uh, which um, is for the patient. It provides easier access to care and improves uh, the patient's experience. It's easy and simple to book an appointment and I will demo that for you shortly. Uh, and patients will have the flexibility and autonomy uh, when booking their appointments, which should hopefully help reduce some of those DNAs. And finally, uh, another benefit that's not necessarily listed here, but I just thought I, it's worth mentioning. Uh, whilst we created Batch Self Book with flu vaccinations in mind, you can actually use Batch Self Book for anything else. So from vaccination programs to smear tests and other recall purposes, all you need to do is choose a slot type in your, in your appointment book and get sending and patients will start um, booking into their appointments. So I did mention we'll go over some frequently asked questions in this webinar. Um, here's a list of some FAQs we compiled from our previous webinar on self-book in the Compose screen. Um, that, that webinar was around, um, uh, it, it took place a couple of weeks ago and we've uploaded a recording of that on our YouTube channel. So if you are curious to find out about self-book um, in, in the Compose screen and that's being able to send a patient an individual patient, a booking link directly. Um, you can check that out on our YouTube channel. But um, we'll, we'll just go through some of the FAQs now. Um, so is this available to me? And when will batch self-book be available? So the question, the answer for those is yes, it's available for uh, all GP practices in England and it is available right now. So you should access it. You should be able to access it in your Accurex toolbar. And again, I will demo that for you shortly. How many weeks in advance can I invite patients to book in? So three weeks for now. So patients can view uh, the live reflection of their appointments up to three weeks in advance. We're currently working on increasing this. So hopefully in the future that, that can be extended. But at the moment, uh, it's limited to three weeks. Do I need to cover SMS fragment costs? Uh, yes, unless they have been uh, covered by your ICB or federation. Um, you can find out whether or not you, you have to pay uh, by um, receiving contact from us. So we'll, we will contact all practices in the case where the practice will have to cover the cost. So keep an eye out for an email um, if in that case. Uh, can patients cancel or reschedule their appointments via the link? And can patients decline their appointment? At the moment, this isn't possible, but it is a feature that we're currently working on, or, and hopefully that's something that we can add soon um, as we continue to iterate on the batch self-book product. Um, so yeah, it's, it's not something that's available at the moment, but hope to have that soon. And finally, where can I see how many patients have booked in? So you, you'll soon be able to see this in the batch messaging homepage, and I'll show you how that homepage looks very shortly. Um, but that's not something that's available now, and we're, we're currently working on that. We do have uh, more FAQs on our website, which you can visit by going to www.accurex.com forward slash booking. Um, there's a huge range of resources in there, so I would highly recommend checking that web page out um, as, as it should be um, quite useful. So we'll move on to how to actually use Batch Self Book, and I'll play this um, little demo here for you, um, but I will actually show you how it looks in the system. Um, so Batch Self Book, like I mentioned, uh, it pulls the data directly from your clinical appointment book. So you won't have to create new slot types unless you want to. You can access Batch Self Book directly from your toolbar. What you need to do is just click on the initials in your Acreex toolbar and then select the, the Batch Message option in the drop down. And then all you need to do is follow the, the simple steps um, that were shown in this video um, to, to create your booking link. Um, upload your CSV file, and then you can send it directly to your patients. So what I'll do now is I'll move over to a screen that has my clinical system and my Accurex toolbar running over here. My clinical system of choice today is EMIS, um, but I'd just like to say that this is, this is also fully integrated with System 1. So the functionality of Batch Self Book works in exactly the same way with System 1. Um, I'm, just, I'm just demoing it for uh, using EMIS just because um, I had to pick one. 
um, but but it works in exactly the same way, way with system one. So all you need to do to send a batch self book link out to a group of your patients is you need to click on your initials in your Accurix toolbar and then click on batch messaging, which should be at the top. This will take you to the batch messaging, messaging homepage, which I mentioned earlier. And here you'll be able to see a, a list of any previous batch messages that you have sent. So if you have access to the batch messaging module and you have sent any messages in the past, you'll see um, it, th this may be populated for you. If you haven't got the batch messaging module, this might be blank. That's completely fine. You will still have access to batch self book. So to send a, a, a batch self book message, all you need to do is click on send a batch message. And then you'll see uh, this option called self book. Now this might be the only option you see when you come to this page. And that's the case if you, if you don't have the batch, uh, the batch messaging module, uh, you will still be able to use batch self book once again. So uh, this is available to all practices. So to send us a, a batch self book link, all I need to do is click on the self book option here. And then now I can compose my self book message. The first thing I'll do is select a slot type. And in this demo, I'll just um, go through the, the, the exercise using a flu um, slot. So I, I want to send a flu vaccination invite to a group of my patients. So I'm going to select the existing flu slot type that we have in our clinical system. As you can see, this says I've got 54 appointments available. If you do select a slot that doesn't have any available appointments, it will give you an error and it won't allow you to continue. But in this case, we do have appointments available for flu, so I'll just select that. And now you have a couple of options in terms of composing your message. You can create your message here um, using free text uh, and send that off to your patient, or you can create your own templates but what we've done here at Accurix is we've created some self book templates that we feel uh, would be really useful for all practices. So you should have access to that. And all you need to do is click select a template and then scroll down to the self book heading and you'll be able to see the various uh, templates that we've made available. So we've got the COVID autumn booster templates, cervical screening, flu invitations and polio vaccine. But of course, you're not just limited to these use cases and you can create your own templates um, for, for your own vaccination invites or any other recall purposes. So that is an option available for you. And we do have a, an article on our resource center that explains how you can create your own, your own um, templates. So I want to send this, uh, my, my group of patients their first invitation for a flu vaccine. So I'm going to select this template. And then the template uh, auto populates within this text message field. You're not limited by what's in this text message field. So you can add or remove uh, any information. Uh, but we would recommend just being mindful of the fragments and, and trying to keep this uh, short. You'll see that with this template, uh, there is an associated SNOMED code. And in this case, it's influenza vaccination invitation, first SMS text message sent. Uh, so each template will have a relevant SNOMED code. Um, but if you do create your own template, so if you send a free text, you'll be able to select a, a, a SNOMED code from a library of SNOMED codes that we have within, within here. So um, you'll be able to select your own SNOMED code when sending out the invite in that case. But in this case, this is a template that already has this SNOMED code uh, associated with it. We'll click continue as I'm happy with this messaging. And then the next page will allow me to add a patient list onto, uh, onto, onto here. Again, you'll be able to see the slot type that you're sending the booking link for, and you'll be able to see how many appointments are available over the next three weeks. And then here is where you can upload your CSV file containing a list of all your patients. If you haven't used batch, uh, batch messaging before, and if you don't, didn't have access to batch messaging, um, you, you might not be familiar with the process of uh, uploading a CSV file. So we have got step-by-step -step instructions on how you can obtain a patient list from your clinical system. So we've got those instructions for EMS and also for system one. So that guidance is available for for anyone that needs to sort of follow those instructions to uh, obtain their list. But once you have obtained your patient list, all you need to do is click on upload a CSV. And I'm just going to upload my list now. 
And now all of the patients within that list were, were getting scanned to, to ensure that they have valid mo mobile numbers, for example, and the next step is to review the, your patient list. Out of the nine patients that were in my list, five of those have been accepted. Uh, so I can send, send my batch message to these five patients. However, four of those nine patients cannot be sent a text message, and that's because they don't have a valid UK mobile number available. I can now download this list and then confirm their mobile numbers and then send them another message, for example. In the meantime, I'm happy to send these uh, patients, these five patients, my batch self book link. So I'm going to click continue. And then the final stage is where you can review your message. So you'll be able to see what kind of uh, message this is. So this is a self book link. I'm sending it to five patients. I can see exactly what is included in that text message. And I'll also be able to see the, the SNOMED code that will get saved to the patient's record once this message gets sent to the patient. And all I need to do now is click send message and the message will start get, getting sent to all of those patients within that list. Now I'll be able to see the message status in this table down here. Um, so this is the message. You'll be able to see the time, who sent it, what the status is, what type of message this was. And you can also click on view details to, to see the specifics around what message was included, how many were saved to record, for example, things like that. Switching over to the patient side, side of things, um, the patient would receive the text message and they'll be able to click on the link in their text message. And then they'll be taken to this page here. Uh, they will, the patient will need to enter their date of birth as verification of their identity. And then once they do this, they'll be able to see all of the available appointments within that slot type that you chose when sending out your batch self book link. So as you can see, we've only got one available day um, for, full of appointments in our slot type. And that's just because that's the, that's the only availability in our slot type. But um, what would ordinarily happen is all of the availabilities in your slot type up until three weeks in advance um, will be visible here. But just because we've got this, uh, we've, we've got one day here, I'm just going to pick the next available um, slot. So I can click show all slots and then pick a 9 a.m. slot and then click continue. And then this final page here is where you can review your appointment details. And if you're happy with it, you can click confirm. And then at this point, the patient is automatically being added into their appointment book. So they'll be booked into that appointment book you sent the, slot, uh, you sent the booking link for, um, and there's nothing else that you need to do. Uh, once this is done, the patient will also receive a confirmation uh, text message that their appointment has been booked. Uh, so they will have that to hand as a reminder of their, their appointment. And I just wanted to also show how this looks in the patient's clinical uh, clinical records. So in EMIS, when, when you save to record, it will get saved as a new consultation. And in system one, when you save to record, it will get saved as a new journal entry. So I'm going to head over to uh, one of my patients uh, and their consultation. And this is how the batch, uh, batch self book invite is saved to the record. So you have the SNOMED code saved their mobile number, as well as the contents of the text message um, visible within that consultation. So that's Batch Self Book. I hope that was helpful in showing how easy it is to send out a, a message to a large group of your patients all at once. Again, if you do have any questions around that, please feel free to type it up in the Q&A section. I've just got some tips here to get started and how you can make the most out of Batch Self Book. So when creating your slots, uh, be sure to, to set up your slots uh, ahead of time and try not to change them once you have already sent out links to your patients as that can uh, affect the visibility of appointments from the patient's end. Um, when it comes to composing your message, try and be as concise as possible. We, we do have a number of templates that we've made available for all practices to use. Um, and I showed that to you previously, but um, feel free to use that and that will help keep your costs, your SMS costs down. But if you do use your own templates or if you use free text, uh, please just try to keep that within two fragments and there will be a word limit or a character limit um, in, in the compose field. So you should be able to use use that to, to guide your, your message. Um, when selecting your patient list, just be mindful of how many appointments you have available for your chosen slot type. 
um, over the last few weeks, we've or, or over the last week rather, we've seen uh, quite a high conversion of links going out to patients booking in. So try to avoid uh, inviting more than double of your of your patients compared to the amount of appointments you have available. So in in the previous uh, example that I showed, we had fifty four appointments available in our flu slot type. I wouldn't send more than a hundred uh, patients um, that batch self book link. Uh, I'm just going to double check if Dr. Rukhaj is here. Ah, yes, I can see you've joined. Um, thank you very much for joining, Dr. Rukhaj. Um, so Dr. Rukhaj is a GP at the Wilsdon Medical Center, uh, and they've been piloting a batch self-book for, for, for less than a week. Um, so I'll just hand it over to you, and you can just share your experience. Thank you for your time. Uh, I can't hear you, Doctor. Sorry. I muted myself. Yeah, thank you, Mahir, for inviting me, and hello, everybody. Um, what can I say? Accurate is just fabulous in every product coming out, and this is this is a lifesaver. This is a game changer, honestly. Only last week, Thursday, I started testing it, and then sent invitation for poly vaccines for this poly that we have to do, and the appointments started being used immediately. So over the next three weeks, I've sent this and we are fully booked. All the appointments that were created have been booked for the polio. And then I have tested that with a smear test. And that also is proving very successful and appointments are getting booked. Um, this basically is it's better than an admin team trying to call a patient, getting through, leaving a message with private numbers we have, the patient doesn't answer, is so cost efficient, is so flexible for patient. Patient will choose the times that are available within the next three weeks. And they, they have two days basically to, to click to the link. And if they haven't done it two days, probably they will have either not needed it or forgotten or don't want to do it. You will get a text message back saying the patient has not booked like an, a reminder. Um, I'm going to be using this extensively. And what my said, probably I'm going to redesign my slots. So if I want the patients to be seen by pharmacist, I'm going to use a structure saying pharmacy diabetes review. So when I select the slots, they're going to be able to book only on the dedicated. It's, it's so good. Basically, uh, the clinicians who are here, they know that we with a polio vaccine, we have to do three group ages, one year to 3.4, three years, four months, then three, uh, three or four months to five, and then six to nine. So I sent separate links for these three group ages. And guess what? I have got all patients at the same group age that gonna have the same vaccine in a one list. Simplifying this basically for the vaccinators and knowing that they're gonna be vaccinating only six to nine on that list. And the necklace has the other group age. Um, options for the future, you can do all the recalls for your COF uh, targets, for your local enhanced services, for anything basically. It's just life saver. Thank you. Thank you very much, Dr. Rikaj. It's really good to see that it's had a really good impact on uh, to your practice so far. So really look forward to seeing how it continues to be effective for your practice. Um, if there are any questions for Dr. Rikaj, please feel free to type that up in the Q&A section and try and make it clear that this is directed towards Dr. Rikaj and, uh, and we can get those uh, asked in our Q&A uh, session. Um, but yeah, really, really great news. Um, and again, it just shows how you can use um, batch self book for various different uh, different purposes or different use cases. So thank you again for sharing your experience, Dr. Rikaj. Can the timing be extended more than 48 hours? Uh, was that a question in the chat? You, or? For, you know, I'm saying for the team, uh, for you guys. Um, that that's great feedback. At the moment, uh, the the time frame for the link, uh, the booking link, is limited to forty eight hours. Um, but we'll definitely take that feedback back to the the product team. So thank you. Um, let's 
sorry, just one second, just trying to move the next slide. So I'm just going to talk about where uh, Batch Self Book sits um, within the, the booking module. So our booking module is a, a, a new module we created um, that features two new products that uh, you can use to book appointments. Um, so we have a self book, which is our um, ability to send a patient individual booking links um, and batch self book, which I just demoed to you now. Again, this is available for all G GP practices in England as part of our contract with uh, NHS England. The license fee is covered until June 2023. Um, SMS costs will need to be covered by the practice uh, unless they are being um, covered by the ICB or Federation. And um, finally, uh, we will update everyone on what will happen after the contract ends closer to closer to the time. So um, you can keep an eye on, out for any comms around that closer to the time. Um, I'll now open the floor up for any questions. I know we're quite pressed for time, but um, we will try and answer any questions. Um, so. Becca will also be here, our product manager here at Acurex. Um, so we'll be able to answer any questions. Um, so feel free, Becca, if there are any questions in there that you see, just shout them out. So there's a question in here. Um, does this work even if the patient facing services box is unticked in the slot properties? We don't want random people booking into the slots via patient access. We only want people in the CSV to be able to book. Um, so Becca, do you have an answer for that? Um, yeah, sure. Um, so it doesn't have to be ticked. Um, this will just uh, show all available appointments of the slot type that you've um, selected. And it's a one to one kind of like link to patient um, appointment booking system. So the patient that you've opted to uh, send it to, whether that's one off or um, in batch would have to verify themselves with their date of birth, and then they will be allowed to book into the slot type that you've selected only. Perfect. Thank you. Um, and there, there's some feedback in here around um, flagging the ability to, to schedule um, booking links. Yeah, um, so the ability to schedule is something that we would love to be able to support. Um, and it's kind of in, in the backlog of things that we, we know would be super, super useful to you guys. Um, if there's anyone with specific use cases that want to uh, share more with us, then we'd love to hear about it. So you can get in touch with um, our support um channels and we'd love to hear that feedback of when you'd like to use it but we've heard a few things and we will we'll be adding that in at some point perfect thank you um and there's there's another question uh how do you manage this if we have multiple sites and use the same slot type for multiple sites so that the patients don't go to the wrong site yeah, um so if you've got multiple sites with the same slot name across all of them um the patient will be able to choose which site that they can um, be seen at for that slot type. If you want them to specifically go to one of the sites rather than the other, um, we would just suggest that you put it in the actual body of the text when you invite them. Uh, there's no way of kind of like filtering out uh, the sites. If there's always a logic to which one you go for, maybe there's something you could do with the slot types there and setting up specific slot types for specific for specific locations. Um, but currently it's up to the patient to be able to choose which site works best for them if it's the same slot kind of both. Perfect, thank you. Um, does the Accurate system uh, streamline in real time with the EMIS appointment book? Uh, for example, if a reception books an appointment at 9 a.m., um, is this uh, then instantly removed from being available via self book? Um, so as far as I know, the, the scraping for the clinical system works every 30 minutes um so every 30 minutes we start scraping for available appointments in the um appointment book um and if if there is a a slot that was uh, or an appointment that was um booked a patient has already booked in for um patients using the booking link won't be able to book into that same same appointment correct me if i'm wrong there becca yeah that's right so it's real time for anything that's booked through self book but anything done at the practice level will be a maximum of 30 minutes out of sync um, this is something that we have the ability to change. So we're closely monitoring kind of what impact that has on failure rates and um, kind of like concurrency issues. So we are kind of like uh, reducing that, like say yesterday, it was an hour between each scrape, but now we've shorted it to half an hour. So we're, we're making sure that it's the right experience, but whilst not putting too much work on us unnecessarily. Um, so yeah, it's slightly out. Great, thank you. Um, I appreciate that we're at time. 
So apologies for that, but um, we will email everyone with um, the, uh, a link to the FAQs along with the recording of this session over the next few days. So thank you very much, everyone, for joining. Again, thank you very much, Dr. Rukaj, for joining and sharing your experience. Really insightful and appreciate your time. Um, have a great day, everyone, and uh, keep an eye out for that email. Keep up the good work. Thank you, guys. Thank you. Bye-bye.